Welcome to Fixing My Bite. Today, we are going to look at my pre-surgery study models. This is the current arrangement of my teeth. Uh, you have to kind of ignore this gunk down here. That's a result of the braces being on when they take the models. And so uh, it kind of gets all busy down there. But as long as you can see the top detail of the teeth and where they sit, that's, that's all that matters. So, as you can, might not be able to see from this angle, but I have a seven millimeter underbite. This is how my teeth currently sit. If you rotate from the side, this is the left side of my mouth, and that's currently where I do most of my chewing because the teeth touch, the teeth touch back there uh, pretty well. On the right side, I do ha currently have a missing tooth right here. It, uh, it chipped when I was in college and I was poor and didn't have insurance so I didn't get it fixed and then it was too late to fix once I did have the money to do so. So that will be replaced once I, my braces are off and the jaw surgery is had. They can't do it beforehand because it's an implant and implants are uh, bolted directly to your jaw with a little titanium screw. So I currently do most of my chewing on the left side of my mouth and it's probably making these teeth wear down quicker than they should. But uh, yeah, this is the current arrangement and that's, that's the underbite that we're hoping to solve with the surgery because when I take a bite of a sandwich, like it or a slice of pizza or anything like that, my front teeth, the the teeth that are designed by nature to cut through food aren't able to cut through the food because it doesn't form the nice scissor bite that it's supposed to. Uh, so, with the jaw surgery, oh, and you can also see, uh, you can also see that, notice the line going directly down my front teeth. That is, or sorry, I guess this is the accurate one, according to the jaw surgeon. This is the center of my face. Uh, this lines up perfectly with my nose and my septum, but if you notice, up the, the top teeth do not line up with that. It is actually, it's not just an underbite, it's a crossbite, I believe was what the term is. And crossbite is where the jaw is also displaced to one side or the other. And mine is currently displaced to the, uh, to the right a little bit. So, with proper alignment of the jaw, we can achieve, excuse me while I quick do this, we can achieve a bite that looks like that. As you can see, the front teeth are now slightly over the bottom teeth, as they should be. Anyone with a normal bite, you know that that's, that's how your teeth sit, and that's what cuts food. And so, you can see, now t they come together a little better in the back on the right side, as well as the left side. It's a little, it's a little uh, misaligned back here, but that's, that will be fixed after the surgery is done. They, the orthodontist can finish moving these teeth to where they need to be once the, the jaw surgery has happened. They can't do that right now because they don't, they don't know where the, the final uh, final teeth are going to end up and that's why you typically have to wear braces for another uh, six months or so after surgery. Let's take a look at how they do this. Top jaw first. Roll the tapes! Okay. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Okay, we're going to take those out. Now, if you remember, it's uh -huh. kind of difficult. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, 
Very good. Gracias. <laughs> okay. All right, so that was the top jaw. Let's take a look at the bottom jaw. Video diary. Is it actually video? So our voices will be on here forever. Yeah. <laughs> Throw up. Shake like this. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> She's that weird chick. Right. Scoot up here, sweetie. Let's see. <laughs> I pull forward, just the braces. Uh huh. Good. <laughs> All right. Uh, hope you enjoyed seeing them stick a bunch of gunk in my mouth and pull out. Uh, uh, impression of my teeth. Surgery is... Is it the first? 31st. What day is it? It is the 31st. So, that means my surgery is in 25 days. Woohoo! Alright, thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.